Despite all the narratives, the Trump campaign says it raised more than $76 million in the month of April. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video and today. It is time to talk about the 2024 presidential election because everyone... It appears that once again the Trump campaign had a very good month as they just announced that they raised $76 million in the month of April. Remember like two to three months ago when everyone was saying, oh, Trump can't fundraise, it's over, he's gonna get outspent 50 to 1. Yeah, he raised $76 million in April. And if you thought that number was impressive, it doesn't even account for what the RNC raised. It doesn't account for what statewide parties are raising as well. So this $76 million just by the Trump campaign is probably much more impressive when you factor in the other parts of the Republican Party. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Again, folks, all support is greatly appreciated, and uh, yeah. Now, let us get into it. Former President Donald Trump's political operation raised more than $76 million in April, campaign officials told donors on Saturday. Trump advisors revealed the number up from $65.6 million in March during a presentation at a private Trump campaign and Republican National Committee hosted donor retreat, according to a person familiar with the discussion. The campaign did not provide further details of the fundraising haul, which will be released in filings later this month. But either way, $76 million, that is $11 million more than March, which already was very impressive. You notice a trend? His fundraising is going up, especially after the whole, oh uh, yeah, he has to sit in a courtroom the entire day. When that crap started, that's when his fundraising really took off. I mean, Michael Whatley of the RNC, he said they were raising like $1 million a day when Trump was in court. And I believe that was just the RNC themselves. So this fundraising haul that Trump got is much more impressive when you factor in he raised 66 million or just under 66 million in March. Now he's up to 76 million. Remember back in January and February when everyone was saying, oh, the Trump campaign's gonna outspend 50 to 1. Oh, that's a sign that the Trump campaign's not gonna win. Uh, it's over for them. They're never gonna have money. They're broke. Well, so much for that theory. But the crazy thing about that is even if that was true, that the Trump campaign was getting outspent 50 to 1 or whatever it was, the fact that he is still leading and was leading even back then, five months ago, when he was supposedly down in fundraising 60 to 1 or whatever, despite that, he was still leading over Biden. And now he has money. Trump is facing a significant cash deficit in the presidential race. Through the end of April, President Joe Biden had more than twice as much money in the bank as Trump, according to campaign disclosures. Still, Trump's fundraising has increased since he became the presumptive Republican nominee in early March, and advisors have argued that he will raise enough funds to compete. And we've been over this a million different times. This Biden number, oh, twice the amount as Trump. It's inflated. Because guess what? He's been able to fundraise a lot more money than Trump for like six months. Trump has only been recently able to actually fundraise. Because there are campaign laws in the book where unless you're the presumptive nominee of your party, there are limits to fundraising. You can't have joint committee packs. You can't do any of that. And that's why Biden's numbers are inflated. But even then, this, you know, two to one advantage Biden has over Trump, which you could argue is being inflated, whatever, it's going down. A couple months ago, this number was five to one, six to one. In like two to three months, Trump was able to close the gap that much. And not just, you know, you know, one million dollars or something. You're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars his campaign's been able to raise in like three months. 
And that's why I really would think the Biden campaign would start to sweat a little bit. The fact they have spent tens of millions of dollars. Remember that huge ad buy he announced a month ago? The Biden campaign made a big deal. Oh, this record ad buy is going to save us. Guess what? After the ad buy, Trump is still leading. And that's despite having very little money spent on ads. The fundraising figures were announced during a roughly one-hour presentation by Trump campaign leader Susie Wiles, Chris Lachiva, and Tony Fabrizio. Biden has yet to announce his April numbers, and I assume his numbers are probably going to be better than Trump's. That's not a surprise. You know, it's going to be better just for the simple fact Democrats do fundraise better than Republicans. But even then, even if he's out uh, funding Trump by a couple million, or let's just say even 20 million, if he's been outspent this much already, do you really think a $20 million uh, fundraising advantage is going to change the race if they've spent $60 million or whatever and so far it's done nothing? And I don't think the Biden campaign understands that. Like, this isn't a traditional presidential election because for the first time since the 1800s, we have two presidents running against each other. Of course, you got Biden, who is the current president, running for a second consecutive term, while Trump, he's a former president, trying to win a non-consecutive second term. This is the first time in a hundred years this has happened. Both candidates have universal name recognition. Everyone knows Trump. Everyone knows Biden. So ad spending on paper is not going to decide the race. Now, to be clear fundraising is still important you got to have a good ground game you can't you know get absolutely killed on the ad spending because ad spending is overrated but you still don't want to fall into this trap of okay democrats outspent us 50 to 1 on ads this entire cycle that may not hurt trump but it could hurt republicans down ballot that's why you know it's still important to fundraise and spend that money during their presentation, details of which were first reported by the New York Times, the Trump campaign officials argue that Trump is in a strong position heading to the final six months of the race. They maintain that he is solidly ahead in the three states that will play a major role in determining the outcome of the election, Georgia, Nevada, and Arizona. The most competitive battlegrounds, they contend, are Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. They also said they were aimed to expand the map into Minnesota and Virginia, Democratic-leaning states where they said private polling showed Trump running competitively with Biden, which we, we made a whole video on this this morning, you know. Still questions about that, but either way, the big thing about this retreat was they demonstrated that they're still competitive despite being outspent 50 to 1. And in fact... They're getting good fundraising holes. These are not, you know, stuff to just... These numbers are not small. One month was $66 million, The next month is $76 million. <laughs> That's a lot of money. The retreat, which is being held at the Four Seasons Hotel in Palm Beach, Florida, comes as Trump is in the middle of a hush money trial in New York. The case has complicated Trump's campaign plans, forcing him to be in court four days per week. The Trump aides, however, contended that Trump would still manage to maintain an aggressive schedule. The former president, they said, will, will in the coming weeks hold fundraisers in Kentucky, New York, Nevada, Houston, and Dallas. He is also planning an upcoming rally in New Jersey and a speech in Washington, D.C. Yeah, so much for that theory that, oh, he's so, so stuck in court that he can't campaign, he can't fundraise. Yeah, sure, he's holding five fundraisers. Which, this is something that I've noticed about this campaign. They are hosting fundraisers constantly, you know. It seems like once per week, hell, sometimes like two to three times a week, you have, you know, a big fundraiser. Now, of course, you're not going to replicate what he did in Mar-a-Lago, which is just incredible to this day that he raised, what was it, like $50 million for the entire party? But even if you have, you know, just one or two significant fundraisers a week, and you raise even just two to... Two to three million dollars. Some of them they actually raise like five million, but let's just say two to three million. Well, that's quite a bit of money. That doesn't include small donors. That doesn't include what the RNC is fundraising. So I think it's very smart to keep this up. You got to hold these fundraisers. You do not want to get so far behind where Biden is actually able to spend, 
you know, $150 million in ads while you only spend like $5 million. You don't want that. You don't want to take that risk. It's going to be much more, obviously, but just an example. And I do like that they realize, let's keep the foot on the pedal. We're, we're not going to piss around. We're not going to blow this. We're going to continue this momentum. The Trump campaign also addressed a private meeting ahead with a group of outside Trump-aligned organizations on Friday. The campaign is looking to collaborate with pro-Trump outfits, such as Turning Point USA, on voter canvassing efforts. The FEC recently relaxed rules on how campaigns and allied groups can coordinate on door-knocking and voter turnout initiatives. And that's another positive. This entire donor retreat, or I, what do you call this, like the state of the Trump campaign? It, they called it a donor retreat, but this seems like this is the state of the Trump campaign. I am liking what I'm hearing. Their internal show, Trump's in a good situation in the swing states. Their fundraising hall, pretty solid. And now they're working with outside groups to get people out to vote because the FEC changed the rules on it. Does this really sound like a campaign that's doing nothing? They're letting Biden beat them. Does that sound like the campaign here? Of course not. This theory that the Trump campaign is awful, they're not fundraising, they're not doing anything, that was always BS, being pushed by the Sims. To this day, they're being pushed still by the same people. But even Biden's people are starting to say the same stuff. Oh, his campaign's not fundraising. But yeah, right. He fundraised $76 million. This is not a campaign just sitting back and, oh, they might do an event, you know, once a month. That's not what's happening here. They're actively campaigning, or at least in this situation, actively fundraising. They're working with other groups, and they're reassuring the donors, hey, our internals are looking pretty good. And we're fundraising way better than before, despite our guy being stuck in court. He is raising tens of millions of dollars, and it seems like the more he's in court, the more he raises, which is just crazy, but that's happening. And that appears to be what's happening right now. Every time he's in court, he raises like a million dollars. This is turning into a net positive. And th that's despite what the, the Sims said. Remember it back in January? Well, the legal issues of Trump, uh, they're going to bog him down so much. He's not going to raise money. His campaign will be broke by around May or June. Remember that? Anyone that was honest with themselves knew that the Trump campaign was not going to go bankrupt by June. The only people that really believed that crap were the DeSimps. They, they really thought, oh, we're, this campaign's going to be broke by May, maybe June. Another thing they were wrong about, just like most of this campaign, every time they say something, the complete opposite happens. But either way, we should not get cocky about this. We, we should keep this up. Like, okay. Let's raise even more money in May. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Godspeed to all of you.